Hey, this is Don the Idea Guy, and welcome to a new episode of the Big Yellow Sticky Podcast, your exclusive audio track for all the content that I produce and publish daily at BigYellowSticky.com. Today is episode 247, and the title is Attendance versus Attention. The sticky note reads, you can compel attendance in a classroom, but you cannot compel attention or retention of the knowledge presented there. Here's the story behind the sticky. You can find a way to force people to show up at a certain place and time and sit quietly at a table inside of a room. You may even be able to coerce them into staying in that room for a fixed amount of time. But you have no control over what they are thinking while they're sitting there. Whether we're talking about students in a classroom or employees attending a mandatory company meeting, unless you can engage the minds of those bodies sitting in those chairs, you're not going to accomplish what you think you are. Your company meeting might be about safety in the workplace and the correct procedure for operating machinery without getting injured or relaying vital instructions for exiting the building during a natural disaster. But unless your team agrees that the information holds the same value for them that you think it does, then it's more likely they'll be texting snide remarks to each other or trying to beat their high score on Candy Crush. You have to find a way to appeal to your audience's curiosity and capture their interest in order to win their attention. Be upfront with your attendees about the information that will be presented in the meeting. No surprises. Ask questions in your meeting invites that help individuals realize there are gaps in their knowledge, and as bright as they are, they may still not know everything. But that's a conclusion you have to help them reach on their own. If you just try to tell them that they lack the knowledge, they'll fight against you. One idea might be to allow an employee to test out of a meeting. Give them several tough questions to answer prior to the meeting date. If they get them all correct, perhaps they can skip the meeting, or at least not be required to attend it in its entirety. If they do really well on on the exam, perhaps you've found the person who should be presenting this information at your meeting. The quickest way to win an ally in a room full of people who really don't want to be there is to pick one of them to be in front of the room delivering the information to your audience. Then you'll both be on the same side. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Big Yellow Sticky Podcast. If you'd like to receive a free alert every time new content is posted, just go to BigYellowSticky.com and click on the Get Sticky link. Once you confirm your email address, you'll begin receiving a daily email that includes a copy of that day's sticky note, the one that's drawn by hand and drawn by me using Sharpie markers on a 3x3 yellow post-it note. Your email will also include a link to the exclusive audio track, I've been recording one of these podcast episodes to be a companion piece to each one of the sticky notes I've been creating every single day this year. It allows me to dive in a little deeper on a topic and to expand on some of the concepts and ideas that I'm scribbling on those stickies. It gives me a chance to give you the story behind the stickies, just like the one you heard in today's episode. I'll be back again tomorrow with a new sticky and a new story, and I hope you'll stick around to hear it.